So hey guys, uh, welcome back to the channel. Uh, today's episode, this, today's video is going to be more of a channel update and plans for the future. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and get right into things. Um, I'm not sure if I remember mentioning this on my last um, Heretic uh, video that I put out. I do believe I'm going to be making a playlist specifically designed for megawads and um, mods for the various retro games that you can play in GZ Doom and and if you're not if you're uncertain of what a megawatt is a megawatt is anything that makes drastic changes to um, the base game you're playing like uh, like map pa like map packs in particular there are all sorts of map packs in um, for doom like scythe and Community chest two, three, four, uh, things like that. Um, that changes all the maps and stuff like that. Um, there's also megawads that make major gameplay changes to how the game functions. Like, uh, well, I'm, not, I'm not sure if this counts as a megawad, but Project Brutality, which is kind of like Brutal Doom's Big Brother to, to an extent. Oh, excuse me. Pardon me. <clears throat> Okay, uh, a little bit of carbonation. I was drinking generic, uh, <laughs> generic Dr. Uh, generic Dr. Pepper. Anyways, um, uh, Project uh, Project Brutality is sort of like Brutal Doom's Big Brother, and it does change a lot of how Doom functions, and just uh, packs like a whole lot of stuff in it. A lot more than Brutal Doom did. I can tell you that right now. Um. Between that, uh, I'm having I have some plans to make a separate playlist also to for a game that I will be playing called Dungeons and Dragons Online Everrun Unlimited, which is a massively multiplayer online Dungeons and Dragons game. Uh, really fun. Been playing. I've been playing that more often than the games that I said I've been playing. Um, and it's 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 fairly fun. It's fairly fun. I and I hope you will enjoy um, enjoy that particular series because I enjoy it. I enjoy it. I enjoy playing it fairly much. I don't know how much it'll be enjoyable for you to watch, but it's it's a fun, it's a fun game. If you're into MMORPGs and you like Dungeons and Dragons, then that's like the game for you. And I would. This is coming from a guy who spent much of his teenage years playing World of Warcraft, <laughs> and that is not something I'm proud to admit. Um, also, um, I'm going to be trying to get my, get a hold of some, um, video editing software to see if I can do some, uh, some editing on my videos other than just using, um, Handbrake to compress the file size down and make it easier to get onto YouTube without taking, uh, taking too long. Um, I'm also going to attempt to branch out and play some different games. If that very strongly depends on um, if my OBS studio can record it without my encoder being overloaded. Um, but I do have a lot of games in mind that I can play. I have a, a Metroid game called an, um, AM2R, which stands for another Metroid 2 remake, which is a complete and total remake of... Uh, as the name suggests, uh, Metroid 2: Return of Samus, which was a very old game on the game, on the Game Boy, not the Game Boy Color, the Game Boy, like way before the color came around, and uh, it, that game is absolutely beautiful to look at. It's about the gra the graphics are about the same as uh, I think uh, I think it was called Metroid Zero Mission that was on Game Boy Advance, if I'm not mistaken. And I've beat it already, so more than likely I'll probably be playing it on a harder difficulty setting than what I beat it on. Which I don't know how much harder that's going to be. It was fairly hard to begin with. <laughs> um, let's see. Um, uh, I also have another game that I can possibly play. Um, it's around the same lines of Doom. It's called Blood. It's called, well, it was it was on uh, Good Old Games, if I'm not mistaken, or GOG, uh, for short. Um, it, I, it's one unit whole blood, and it comes with um, it comes up with, it comes with an expansion. It also came with Blood Two, which isn't really as good as the first one. So 
I'm probably just going to play that. Um, I may try to play out, might try to play Fallout 3, Game of the Year edition, if my, um, if my OBS can record it, which I hope it can, because that game is absolutely fun. It's kind of like Elder Scrolls, just instead of, instead of swords and magic and stuff like that, you're in a post-apocalyptic wasteland with guns, gunslinging plasma rifles and stuff and all that sort of fun stuff. Um, though I've also beat that one also, so I'll probably more than likely be making a new character, um, for a playthrough on that. Um, also I might try to play Spooky's House of Jump Scares for anybody who's ever heard of that. It's, it's fairly, fairly, it's a fairly different horror game. It doesn't seem horror at first, but you'll be you'd, you'd be surprised as you get laid lower on down the levels in Spooky's Mansion. Certainly took me by surprise. Um, I also have I only rec also recently picked up a game on Origins called Steam World Dig. It's kind of like a post-apocalyptic dig dug with some Metroidvania elements. And I've played it a little bit, and it really seems interesting. As much as you're just kind of digging around, it's 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 got it's got an unusual charm and an unusual. It's just it's just unusually fun. Um, let's see. Uh, I think I'm also going to try and play Torchlight 2 if my uh, OBS can record it. Um, and I may play Torchlight also, though really you don't need to play. Torchlight to understand what goes on in Torchlight 2, as uh, Torchlight 2's opening um, opening sequence generally, I think, explains a pretty good gist of what happened in Torchlight 1. Or I can still play the first Torchlight and go on New Game Plus and play it that way and then play Torchlight 2. But, um, yeah, that's those are, those are, those are some other things. Just in general, tr planning on branching out and trying to play different games, more varied content. Although, like I said, it all depends on if my OBS studio can record it and if my encoder doesn't get um, overloaded. Um, let's see if there's. I'm also. I'm still planning on uh, finishing my Doom franchise playthrough, my Heretic playthrough, and uh, my Strife playthrough. Though I haven't touched Strife in a long time, and I can't even remember what mods I used for it, so I might have to start that one over. Maybe. Hopefully not. Um, uh, also, like I mentioned, uh, when I first started the channel, I'm going to be, I'm going to be playing Doom, uh, EX, Doom 64 EXE, I believe. Not, no, not Doom EXE. EX. Yeah, Doom EX, I believe. I think it was called. It's a complete and total. It's a complete PC port of the old Doom 64 game for the N64, which is actually really impressive with uh, modern um, controls, kind of like what GZ Doom did with the old retro DOS games. But um, they did that with an N64 Doom game, which is really it's really fun. Um, also, I'm gonna see if I can get uh, if I can get a hold of Doom 3 somehow, um, though. Doom 3 might not be the best. A lot of people, a lot of people think that Doom 3 is kind of the more iffier one in the franchise, as it's more based around uh, horror than running and gunning and killing demons and stuff like that. Um, and about as it's about as far as I can remember that I had planned. Um, I think I I also have Legacy of Kane Soul Reaver that I might try to record if I can. Um, I've also got Orcs Must Die that I can try and play. I was capable I was capable of recording one episode of that, even though ever since I made that one episode, I have almost nearly beaten the game and I'm on the final sort of final stage. Uh, but I can go back around and play through the the entirety of the episodes again. It's it's fun enough to play over again. Especially if you, it's it's a weird sort of pseudo tower defense. Uh, man, I'm just not how to exp I'm not sure how to explain it. The best way the best way I can s I explain it is if I actually played it, which it, it really it really is fun. It really is fun. Don't get me wrong there. Um, there's also Orcs Must Die 2, which uh, allows for two players, but I don't really know anybody else that I can uh, play two players on that with. So it'll probably just be the single player campaign and maybe some of the add-ons. 
along with the along with the add-ons on Orcsmas die also there um that's about all that I had plans for and my apologies if you heard that vibration um that was my continuous glucose monitor warning me that uh it was time to calibrate my machine so I'm sorry about that um but yeah those are the plans that I have so far for the channel um and um I hope to see you back here on uh, at the gaming corner and um I hope you have a blessed day if it's day where you're at it's currently 10:58 where I'm at right now so um uh, I hope you have a blessed night and that the Lord would give you a blessed rest and sleep and um God loves you and I pray God's grace would be with you and I will see you back here um for uh this new upcoming content and i hope this content i hope you'll help you enjoy this content uh, the content i'm gonna be putting out so i will see you hopefully back here and i will see you all later